Police are searching for the man who assaulted an MSU student on the river trail near the center of campus over the weekend. The attack happened around midnight, a time when students can be most vulnerable. Fox 47's Faith Miller spoke with a self-defense instructor about what we can do to stay safe. No matter how tight you hold me tightly, okay. right, basically, I can break it. Self-defense instructor Kevin Hendrickson knows how to get out of a tight spot. For this instance, we use pain compliance, which is you cause a little bit of pain to make someone comply with your request, which is to let go of my hand. But he says the best strategy is to avoid the situation entirely. If you can run, run. Because there's no need to engage with someone if you don't have to. Defense can start way before anyone is throwing punches. There are a few things you can do to make yourself a less appealing victim. Taking up their space, making eye contact when they're walking around, walking around like they know where they are. Those are the kinds of things that make them less likely to be selected. An MSU student was assaulted over the weekend. It's surprising. I mean, I knew that stuff like this would happen on campus, but it, it is still surprising to hear that somebody would do something like that. And this student says she feels more secure because she took this self-defense class. One of her takeaways. Trust and trust your gut. If your surroundings feel insecure, take the actions you need to help yourself out so nothing bad happens. Hendrickson says your intuition is a powerful tool, especially when you know about situations that can lead to assault. The best weapon that we have actually is our minds. Which, like most weapons, is most effective when it's sharp. Hendrickson and the MSU police say always pay attention when you're walking alone and avoid listening to music or being distracted. In East Lansing, Faith Miller, Fox 47 News.